Hi! In this tutorial, we'll be demonstrating how to create an animated splash screen using the Comfy sample project. We'll be adding an animation to the logo and the button seen on the splash screen and making it play automatically each time the screen is shown. We'll achieve this through states. We'll create a starting state in which the logo and button are not visible and a second state where the logo and button are in their final position. We'll then create a nice transition animation to take us from the first state to the second. Let's begin. We'll open the splash screen and add a new screen state. This will create state 2, which is a copy of state 1. Great. Now in state 1, we'll select the logo and change its size from the properties inspector to something small and center it. We'll then change its opacity to 0 so that it's not visible in state 1. Now let's drag the button out of the canvas like this. Perfect. State 1 is ready. Let's look at state 2. State 2 has the logo and button in their final position. We'll proceed with adding a transition to take us from state 1 to state 2 using a nice animation. When we create the new transition, Proto.io will automatically create a default transition timeline. In the transition timeline, we can drag the playhead along the timeline or use the play icon to preview our animation. We'll lengthen the entire animation's duration by dragging the end of the timeline like this. Then, we'll adjust the start and end of each component's animation separately by dragging accordingly. You can also change easings individually. Let's change the button's easing to Ease Out Back. Let's preview the animation once more. Since we want this animation to play each time we see the home screen, we need to add the appropriate screen interaction. For Trigger, we'll select Screen Show because we want the animation to start when the screen shows. For Action, we'll select Change Screen State. And for State, we select State 2 so that the screen changes state from State 1 to State 2. In other words, our animation is triggered. Now we have to make sure that the screen is reset to its original state, state 1, once the user moves to another screen. To do that, we'll create a similar screen interaction, but triggered on Screen Hide and changing back to State 1. Good work! Now we're ready to save and preview our splash screen. And here we see our animation. Let's leave this screen and come back to test that the animation plays correctly every time we return to this screen. Yeah, oh, works just fine. As a final step, let's go back to the editor and see how we would modify our prototype to make the splash screen show until the animation ends and then automatically go to another screen. In other words, how the prototype would advance from splash screen to another screen if no button was present. Let's remove the Start the Tour button by right-clicking on it and selecting Delete from All States. Beginning in State 2, we click on the On Transition End Interaction icon to add a state transition interaction. Set the action to Go to Screen, select the Onboarding screen, and set the delay to 500 milliseconds. Let's preview our prototype. We see that when the logo animation ends and after a short delay, the onboarding screen comes in exactly like we wanted. Thank you for watching. Feel free to take a look at the rest of the Proto.io Learning Series video tutorials covering everything you need to know about Proto.io.